Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hey, hey, this is Matthew Pilamont and welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today we're going to look at Netflix's new series, Camp Cretaceous. I like dinosaurs, I like Jurassic Park. I think Jurassic Park deserves to be a cartoon at times. So, the only closest thing we got to a cartoon based on the Jurassic Park franchise was uh, Jurassic World Isla Nublar Adventures, which was... A thing, I think there was Lego Jurassic World, which was uh, a jokey cartoon with CGI based on a Lego franchise for little kids because kids like dinosaurs and kids want a good laugh. So, seeing Jurassic Park putting a jokey situation, but now Camp Cretaceous, and I heard it's like CGI, so. Let's take a look at Camp Cretaceous. Oh my gosh! Is this not the most amazing camp you have ever seen? Okay, nice. So cool. Brachios. Most thing with Flash. Indominus Rex. Ah. T-Rex. Ah. Where do I begin? Pretty much this is a sword with two edges. In other words, it's a double-edged sword. The reason why I'm saying that is because I caught wind somewhere on the web that Camp Cretaceous is rated TVPG. That means not suitable for children unless accompanied by a parent or a legal guardian. I mean, Parental, parental guidance is advised. Parental discretion is advised. You see that in various warnings and TV shows. Following, the following movie contains scenes not suitable for children or sensitive viewers. Viewer discretion advised. Yeah. I can see why. Because I discovered how scary it was being chased by those vicious dinosaurs. The kids look cartoony, but the dinosaurs look too realistic and scary. I'm kind of getting uh, some... Uh, Eisenborg Ace, or you might remember it as Attack of the Super Monsters, where the characters are anime, but the monsters are men in costumes like Godzilla, and uh, think of and but going back, but I can see how uncanny it is, especially the Mosasaur scene with his mouth wide open and his eyes wide, looking mean and nasty, and the pterodactyl chase. I mean, this is like. A little too scary for kids. This could make Scooby-Doo look like Sesame Street. Oh, and you're saying, Oh, Matthew, I think you're overreacting. Kids could take more than they can handle. Shut up! That's bullcrap. Not all kids could take more what they could handle. <sighs> I've, I mean, seriously. I heard stories of little kids, of kids, being frightened of the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park 3. I heard a story of kids being frightened by the natives in Peter Jackson's Kong remake. Not everything's coated with sugar, you know. I mean, this version is not for little kids, especially those under the age of seven. And if kids find this iteration of Jurassic Park too scary? Might I recommend, uh, hold on. Lego Jurassic World, uh, Legend of Isla Nublar, or Isla Nublar Adventures, or whatever its name is. I recommend that one, because at least it's less scary, and it's more of a comedy, despite the fact, uh, 
I was originally, I didn't like it because it would work, because it's too jokey and would work well for a parody of Jurassic World. But, yet again, I'm putting myself between a rock and a hard place. I mean, if you find Camp Cretaceous too scary, I highly recommend the uh, Lego cartoon on Nickelodeon based on the Jurassic World franchise. I mean, at least it's funny. Kids could enjoy it. Parents would enjoy it too. It's TVY7. I know, I know. A lot of... I, I, if you watched my video called Top 11... No, Top 20 Worst TV Shows of the Decade. I just talk about how uh, TV PG shows uh, should not be watched by kids. But only kids with parents. And uh, kids could take more... They can handle it's just a pure bull crap uh, phrase, just like how kids can be seen, not heard. Kind of defeats the purpose of communication if you want to talk to your kids. I mean, why do you think if I was in a convention and I would, if I was in a convention, apart from hearing me talk, I would say, Yes, you, what do you what's your thoughts about? Or, Yes, yes, you, could you say anything about it? Uh, I'm asking you some questions. Do you know this one, that one, this one? That sort of thing. Give them the questions. That way, I would get interaction. Also, yes, I would think it's a great idea to do that sort of... Going back, also, going off topic. Also, nice interaction would help. But going back to Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous, no, too scary. I repeat, too scary. Because all the films, all the Jurassic World films and all Jurassic Park films, they're PG-13. This was right TV PG. I mean, they're too scary. But look at uh, Kong King of Apes. At least that was TVY7, but guess what? The ape wasn't scary. He looks preschool cutesy. But if you go to that border, I mean, you would turn to a PG. <sighs> We're all born with different reactions. I might recommend this to uh, 12 and up if they want to give them courage. If you want to give the kids some courage or walk through the fear barrier to get courage. I mean, if we, <clears throat> when you look at something scary, whether it's on Sesame Street, on a picture book, on a TV show, or a cartoon, especially the very old one, we get scared. But after we watch a scary thing, we feel a little tougher. I mean, it's not for big kids like Batman Forever, but more for little kids like Mickey Mouse's The Mad Doctor, the Tom and Jerry cartoon Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Mouse, and uh, yeah, the Tiny Toon Adventures episode called One Beer, something like that. It is really dark, or Bimbo's Initiation, that was dark, but I would say uh, I highly recommend you watch Dark Toons. Oh, oh yeah, don't forget uh, the Pooch Pup cartoon, King Clunk. That was rated H for horrific when it premiered in England. It was rated H for horrific because it was like too scary. So, go on. Heck, I remember when I was four years old. Four. And I remember how scary Hulk Hogan's Rockin' Wrestling was. With that being said... I mean, it was the 80s. Go, uh, go figure. With that being said, do you have, do you think this cartoon, Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous, is suitable f for kids or not? Would you let your kids watch it or not? Would you let them stick to Jurassic, Lego Jurassic World, Legend of Isla Nublar? Hmm? If not, what do you recommend for something for kids under seven or kids 
above 7 and under 12, that is like, that would exercise their fears. That's like thrilling and chilling. <sighs> well, comment down below. And this is Matthew Bielmont saying, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell button. I almost said bell bottom. And see ya.